it was sometime in August or September 2007 when some friends from Google.org were having a conversation with me and they suggested I do something called a process audit of the Asar survey. I had no idea what a process audit was. The name sounded interesting, but I did know a little bit about the Asar survey. It must have been about two years into the survey. Uh, there were beginning to be a few media reports uh, that seemed to suggest that everything that we knew about elementary education in India was completely polar opposite to the reality of what elementary education in India looked like. So I was curious. And it was that curiosity that led me into the Asar office um, sometime in September 2007, where I took up the challenge of doing this mysterious thing called a process audit. The process audit was really fun. Two important things happened. One, I got to know Pratham, and I made a lot of friends. We traveled around, we chatted, we ate, we, we checked out schools together, and in the process became long-lasting friends. But I also learned a lot about the Asar process and what Asar meant, and that had a last, left a lasting impression on me. Two important things uh, that I learned from the process audit. One was the simplicity of the question. Asar asks the most obvious, the most simple question. Children are going to school, are they learning anything? And I realized that knowledge is actually most powerful when it's not complicated. When it asks the simplest, the most obvious question, and in the process of doing so, challenges all the assumptions that we make about the world as we know it. I found that very, very important and an important learning for me at, uh, in what was a very early stage in my career. But what I also learned was the beauty of the Asar process. We'd read in textbooks that citizens pay tax, and by virtue of paying tax, have every right and responsibility to ask questions of their government. We'd also read a lot about the importance of citizen participation in everything that government does. That was an idea that I had been greatly influenced by, but I had absolutely no sense of what that meant in practical terms. How do citizens actually ask questions? How do they engage? And there's something about the beauty of the Asar process, which is very visible in this room, where they actually made good this idea, made it practical, practical and made it implementable. Citizens from around the country going to government schools, asking this simple, obvious question, I've sent my children to school, are they actually learning something? And from this process, I realized that whatever I do next with my life, I must make sure that I keep these principles in mind and learn more from, from Asar and Pratham and what it does. So in about 2008-9, when I set up Accountability Initiative, the Pratham office was the first place I went. And in conversations with Rukmini and the Pratham and Asar team, we made our way to Sihor, where we tried to experiment with the idea of getting parents to be more involved and engaged with the school process. Once parents know what's actually happening inside the classroom, are there ways and means by which parents can actually influence the goings on of the school? And there was a mechanism in what was then the Sarva Shiksha Abhyan for setting up parent-teacher associations, which were expected to make plans. So we had this fanciful idea, or rather I had this fanciful idea, that we should try and use this mechanism of planning to get parents more engaged with the school. Asar said, well, try it out. The real world looks very different. Um, and so they came along with me as we tried it out, only to realize the real world is indeed very different. And even the most basic things that parents would need to be able to make these plans, information on money, power to actually take decisions over that money, information on when this money reaches schools, was missing in this real world. And it was from that that the PESA survey was born. And some questions that we ask in PESA got integrated into the Asar survey. And since 2009, we've been more or less almost on an annual basis uh, uh, asking these questions as part of the Asar survey, which is what led eventually uh, to the PESA surveys. And when we did the PESA surveys in more detail, we tried our best to follow what we learned from Asar, try to get citizens engaged in the process of asking questions in schools. So our surveys too are an attempt at following the Asar model, uh, getting citizens, uh, volunteers from different districts to go into schools to, to, do, to conduct a survey, ask questions and solicit answers from the system. When we throw, talk about the impact of Asar, Asar ka Asar kya hota hai? We mostly focused on Asar's Asar on education policy in India. Ten years ago, the very idea that constructing a school doesn't need lead to an, an education was quite surprising for most. Today, thanks to Asar ka Asar, this has become an accepted truth. What we talk less about 
is asar ka asar on people like me the experience of understanding how asar works participating in the asar process hugely impacted me i can assure you that if in 2007 i hadn't walked into the asar office and and sat and chatted with asar and pratham colleagues accountability initiative the pesa survey my own way of doing things would have been very different this is the asar of asar thanks <laughs>